All right, well, obviously now I'm by the river, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, water quality, and one of the reasons why you probably shouldn't be drinking river water. Obviously, that's a good idea, but there are some uh, caveats, because we are all actually drinking river water right now. So let me explain. Um, the river flows through the city, and up by Alameda, I'll show you a picture, we have what's known as the San Juan Chama Drinking Water Project. It's a diversion dam. It's an inflatable dam that can go up and down quite easily, and it diverts water from the river, north of Albuquerque, into a, a treatment system, and all that water ends up actually going into your faucets. Uh, the reason for that is because we've pumped so much water out of the aquifer well below our city that it's empty, and it can't support our city anymore. So we, in the 1960s and 70s, they diverted water uh, from the San Juan, which is part of the Colorado River drainage basin, that watershed, under mountains essentially into the Chama River basin. Uh, it actually, the water goes under the Continental Divide, which is not something that should be happening normally. Um, anyway, it flows down from the Chama through Abiquiu area and into the Rio Grande and then south down towards Albuquerque. It's diverted in Albuquerque and it's processed and it comes out of your tap and then the idea is it goes out of your tap, down your tap, into the toilet or into the sink or into the drain and flows back into the wastewater treatment plant, which is south of Albuquerque. Um, right now I'm at just a little bit north of Rio Bravo and just a little bit south of Rio Bravo is the wastewater treatment plant. And all the water that goes into there that's from your sinks and from your toilets and whatnot and your shower and your bath, um, that all is cleaned to meet EPA standards and then is pumped or at least dropped back into the river. And in fact, so much water comes from Albuquerque and goes into the river. Um, it's like the fourth or fifth biggest tributary for the Rio Grande. So a tributary is a river that flows into the Rio Grande and gives it water. So for example, uh, up north we have the, San, the, the Chama, we have the Jemez, down south we have the Rio Puerco, we have the Pecos. Um, all of those are tributaries into the Rio Grande and one of the largest is Albuquerque, is our wastewater that is treated and put back into the river. Um, something interesting about this, and this is common throughout the river system, is there's stuff in the water that shouldn't normally be there. Um, one of the most common ones is sucralose. Sucralose is fake sugar. When you can ingest the pink packets of sugar, it doesn't do anything. It your tongue responds to it in the form of being sweet, but it doesn't actually do anything in your body. It's essentially inert. Your body just passes it through and you pee it out. And when you pee it out, you can actually detect it in your urine. Well, we're detecting it in the water. You can actually detect sucralose in the water. You can also detect something that's even more harmful. Sucralose isn't that big of a deal. You know, it makes the water a little bit sweeter, I suppose. Um, but something that is sort of a big deal is the estrogen that we find in our water, in the Rio Grande. Um, that's not unique to Albuquerque or New Mexico. It's found all over the country. And it's because of birth control pills, because People consume birth control. Uh, not all of it is consumed by the body. It is not processed entirely by the body. And it leaves the body in urine and it treated or treated at the wastewater treatment plant um, and then goes into the water because it's not necessarily all removed. Um, this is harmful. It's actually, there are some biological impacts on fish and amphibians all over the country, all over the world where this happens. And um, it's something we should be concerned about. But the water is not clean. It's not something you really want to mess with. Because think about it this way, too. That water that's not going into the river from wastewater treatment, now that's, like I said, it's processed. It's treated uh, to meet EPA standards, but we don't really... There are so many new elements, so many new chemicals that are being put into the water that we're, have yet to be tested as if they're harmful or not for humans. They're not being treated out because the EPA doesn't manage them. So be careful with drinking water, uh, water out of the river. Another thing to be uh, considerate of is the fact that not all the water that goes into the river from Albuquerque goes down the drain. A lot of it falls as rain and hits the surface of the street and flows into ditches and flows into the north and south diversion channel and goes into the river as well. Now, think about every single drip from a car that is leaking oil or people dumping stuff they shouldn't be dumping down the drain or down into their gutter. Um, all of these things eventually in some way, shape or form make their way into the river and, you know, so on. But anyway, that's my spiel on water quality. I hope you enjoyed it.